Wally at ya, Wally at ya, doodly do, doodly do, Wally at ya, Wally at ya, doodly do, doodly do. It is the simplest thing, it ain't nothing to it. All you gotta do is a doodly do it. I said doodly 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 do. Yay! Hi guys, today is November 20th, right? I believe it is, again. Oh, I'm lying. 21st. This is my fourth video for the day. The first two mad randoms were like, at like 1, 3 o'clock in the morning. I have no life. I don't go to sleep until very late and I get up really late or really early depending on what time my class starts. Well, I was in my bed sleeping. Actually, lying. I was in my bed watching stuff on iPad and then I was watching also The Huxtables. I finally finished all their shows. I was like, oh my gosh. I was so tired. They only have eight seasons. I think I believe that's all I saw on Netflix. That's the only, only thing I watched. So, yeah, so I was like, that's all popped into my head. And anybody who watched this, who went to Starlet Dickens, I knew when I was a little kid. Just, I think Jessica Jordan and somebody else, I forgot. And Shad Day, I forgot her last name. Those were my best friends in like pre pre K and then kindergarten. It's kind of sad. Um, but yeah, you know, can you name all your best friends from kindergarten to now? I can. All right, pre pre K with Jessica Jordan and Shadi. I would like to do nothing without. I would like cry if I didn't have them near me. It's kind of sad. First grade was Capri Thornton Lake. Second grade was Navreen Robinson. Third grade was Shanika Smart. Fourth grade and fifth grade, that was in the same. I had the same teacher. People thought me and this girl got left back together, which is kind of sad. Brittany Brooks. Sixth grade was Tiffany Rose. 7th and 8th grade, I really didn't have, I had like a group of friends like Angie, Lucci, no, not lie, I'm not, not 8th, not 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th was like Angie, Talisha, Nikisha, Keisha, Tiffany, we had like all the Ishas and Angie and like them was like left out because of the names, not really left out kind of thing, whatever. And 9th grade was like Angie, Luch, Nelly, which is Janelle, um, so Janelle aka Nelly. Whatever. We had a lot of Janelle's that year. It was kind of crazy. We had like three or four. It's really ridiculous. Um, Shanika. It was like, they was my best friend. They were like, like a group of friends. I was, like after 7th to 8th grade, I was like, I finished with best, fr best friends until 9th grade. Do -do -do -do. They were Sonny Powell's. You know, me and him don't talk that much now. But yeah, he was my best friend until his 9th grade. Second semester, we met in science class and we also had history class like every single day I saw him I always asked him for gum but she always had big red and winter fresh so um we met in 2003 I believe in February or February February or March I think we have readings in January so around February and March we have met in class and me and Shanika used to always like talk to him before science class before she went to her class and she was like always late for that and um Shanika doused me to be clarified, which technically is kind of really related. They didn't know until further down in the years, kind of sad. And um, then my friend friends, was my best friends in 12th grade was like Ananda, who else? I'm sorry guys, Crystal, Nafisa, Shante, Renee, and then that's basically it. Um, I feel like I'm Desi. I feel like I'm leaving out a person. I don't know why. Um. And my and I like I had friends when I was a little kid, but I had like home friends, which is a girl named Janelle. I forgot her last name, but she like lived a house away from me. Kind of sad. And um, I was just weird. And then we had the block friends, which was like Keith, Jaquan, Natasha. Like I was really I had separation of friends. Mind you, we all lived in the same neighborhood. We went to all the same schools, but it was just like we had neighborhood friends, like block friends, and we had um school friends. We're all the same age, but yet all the divisions. Kind of crazy. Um, but yes, so guys, thank you for watching my show. I know I'm kind of kooky, kind of crazy, kind of da da da. But yeah, um, my friend, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm gonna the D. I'm sorry, I want to say Danny, but I feel like I'm wrong. I don't know why. I think it's Danny. He told me that I need to advertise my thing more so people can watch it more. I didn't first do this for like advertising. You know, I know a lot of people became popular. Chris Brown, this other guy, Ned, and other people have became popular on YouTube because of their broadcast. But I wasn't really trying to do that. I was trying to, if anything, I get popular off my singing, not really the shows that I'm doing. But doing so much shows, I feel I have fun with them. I like 
I don't really do a lot of editing. Probably the most editing I do is probably the beginning and the end because sometimes my videos go longer than I ex like expect it to be, and I don't want to have a problem with the for them to like upload to YouTube, so I just make them kind of shorter. But um, that's why I have part ones and part twos. And, uh, so um, yeah. But it seems like people are watching it. People are telling me that I know probably because they say people that you know don't tell you the real like truth. But I believe people are telling me that I like my show so far. So I really just want you to enjoy yourself and like the show and keep on watching. Please post it on your Facebook friends so that people, your friends can watch how dumb I am. So yeah. But um, oh yes, I have another, when I was little. I had the first song I sang for you today was a song I actually sang in pre-K. Was a kindergarten, one of those two. And we had another song named Pearly Shelf. We was like, we had like a little hula skirt. So we was like, Pearly Shelf, Pearly Shelf, on the ocean, something, something, sun. It was just so crazy. It's like cute little kids doing this little dance. And um, I used to do another dance. Oh, coochie coochie la la la. Oh my god. When I was younger, I used to love being on tape like I am now. But back in the day, I had the big old camp mother had it, and she just loved videotaping and stuff like that. And I used to just love being the scene. Like, people always take the camera off. I'm like, Mommy, put it back on me. I want to be watched and stuff like that. It was like so crazy. My big old head and glasses. Ridiculous. Um, And I used to sing coochie coochie la la. I put my hand on my private parts. It's kind of crazy. Not really in my pants, but like on. Like, you know, Michael Jackson, how he does his little. And I used to do that. But I say, coochie, coochie, la, la, la. Coochie, coochie, la, la, la. Ugh. Like, it's too cute. And I used to do that. I used to watch tape. Like, why did I do that? But it was like, when I watched tape, I feel like it was like yesterday it happened. And it's like so cool. I hate when they say it's like or um when they're talking. And I'm clearly doing this. I'm hating myself right now. I'm hating myself right now. Now of right. Right now. Like, yuba tube. Tuba yuba. I tend to say words with like compound stuff backwards because it sounds so much cooler in my head than when I say it out loud people don't understand my brother understands though we do that at home all the time like we're just so stupid like we should really have a day in Canadian's world at my house like around things well, I don't have spend Thanksgiving with my family I actually still spend Thanksgiving with Jessica and her family got my family to them but I feel like they're family to me my like big family are in Jamaica and my father's family like they're up here but I'm not really close to them so Shout out to Jessica and Shauna and the Thomas family because I so appreciate you guys taking me over your know, Thanksgiving. Since they moved to Brooklyn, I mean, well, Queens from Brooklyn a couple of years ago, I think about three or four years ago, I've been at their house every Thanksgiving. And it's been fun with Kid On and other people, no names, and Kaidi, Kaidi Lee, we have fun with her too. Um, but yes, I really appreciate you guys, even though I don't cook. If I do help, I cut up potatoes and something simple. Because if people don't know, I don't like to cook. I don't like to know what's in my food. If I do, there's a real chance that I might not eat the food. Um, I don't like onions. I don't like red peppers. I don't like green peppers. I like black pepper or like powdered onions and garlic. I like to be able to see anything in my food. If I do, I'm the good chance I might not eat it. I don't want to be to like in Jamaica. Like I didn't kill a chicken, but first I killed a chicken on the farm, and I used to pluck off the like they put in the hot water, pluck off the the feathers and all that stuff. Now I couldn't do that. I couldn't, I couldn't touch a bird. It was like it feels so disgusting. I like to touch raw meat. I, it really disgusts me. Like literally, it just it just disgusts me. I can't touch it. I throw up. Literally, like probably was an acting thing too. I I don't know what it is, but I really hate to touch. Like I'm like this. Ugh. Like I, I could clean a baby's diaper faster than I could actually cook raw food, which is kind of weird. Diapers is like crap and pee. But I probably clean that up then make or touch food, which is kind of creepy. I'm actually good at baking. I'm a person. I can't say I can't cook. Don't no, give me a recipe of simple things that I can't make without a recipe, but when you give it to me, I'm good. If I do like touch chicken and stuff like that, it has to be like chicken breast, which is kind of already made. All I do is wash it and season it a little bit. And I still feel like, eh. Chicken breast, breast of chicken. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I feel. So that's why I don't cook food. And every year they try to kill me. They need to must cook your lazy. Like I tell you, me, your lazy, your lazy. Da, 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 da. But I'm so sorry and I'm grateful for you having me over. But I really hate cooking. So yeah, I'm so sorry. But I love you guys for having me over. And this year I might do a video at their house. Do 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 
video time video time so we have a couple more days until thanksgiving today is monday and thursday as you know every year thanksgiving happens on the same day if you did not know that every year they skip it Thanksgiving happened on the same day of the week, but a different date, all right? So, yes. Like, Christmas has their own personal day, but Thanksgiving has a certain Thursday in November. November is the best month I'm born in. Bam, bam, diggy, diggy. Bam, 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 nigga, nigga. Bam, bam, nigga, nigga. Bogo. To the middle. Boom, 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 boom. I'm kooky. People might not think, people who know me, like, who just met me like months ago from the school and I think that, oh, she's not this way in person. If you know me in real life, I'm just, I'm just this dumb. Some of the stuff is not, well, some of the stuff is acting, but acting the Khadija way. That's Khadija if she's being stupid. Well, Khadija was dumb. Oh, I really hurt myself. See that? Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Sorry, hands. I did not mean the, to be hurt. I thou shall have to be hurt, <laughs> to be or not to be. <laughs> Hitting my hand was not the question. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm just very out there. My brother said one time he was downstairs and <laughs> I was, you know, they said black people they can't take to the movie theaters because they talk to the screen. I was watching WB on my, I think it was iPad time, whatever, probably my computer, my laptop, whatever. Um, and I was talking about it, and I was like dying and laughing and talking. My brother was like, he heard me all the way in the basement. I, was on, I live on the top floor, my brother stayed in the basement. He think he could hear me yell and scream from the top floor laughing. And he think, he heard me say so he heard me talking. I was like, he said, you talk to yourself. I'm like, I don't talk to myself per se. I kind of reason with myself out loud, but not like talking reason. Just say, you know, you think, you think those sentences are like, oh, probably that. It's like I give myself a list of things I should think about, and I just what I think of, and I say out loud. It might seem crazy, but I'm not. People say when you think you're crazy, it's not really crazy. When you think you're not crazy, you're really crazy. I can't admit I'm this much crazy. That means I'm not really crazy because I admit it. But I don't know what it is. So if you think that you think that you're not crazy, but you think that you are, that you're not crazy, are you really crazy or are you not crazy? I don't understand. Do you understand? Can you email me something to make me understand? I'll put on a show for the viewers to see. Now, do we all understand what we're understanding of our understandings? Hmm. If you to be or you're not to be, which is a B, not being a B, of not to being B. So, to be or not to be, that is my questions to my brain. So, my questions to my brain is to be B, thinking of B, not thinking of not to being, of thinking of not to be thinking of. So, if you think of thinking of, thinking of not thinking of, that is not the question you're really thinking of asking yourself not to be thinking of. You see my logic? Oh, you know about that. You gotta be a psychologist to get that from that list. You feel me? I am. am. Yo, random thoughts came in my head. I watched the Huckables earlier, and I don't know how I connected that, but yeah. Um, the baby is in the. The Huckables' older daughter was married to a guy named Elvin. They had kids, and they kids had. Chicken pox, not the point of the story. But I was thinking of one time I had chicken pox. I had them twice. Yes, not once, but twice. Remember how we count yesterday? Well, technically this morning. Early morning, whatever. One plus one is two. So two times I had chicken pox. How is that possible? I don't know. I'm not God, but I had chicken pox twice. And that's basically it. So, hope you enjoy my kooky dookie. Oh, what I'm going? What I'm going? I gotta say that at least once a show. That's my, I'm saying it, trying to say it different ways. You see what catches. So, oh, you know how Wendy Williams have, is her name one? Yeah, Wendy Williams. How are you, just how she say it. How you doing? How you, I don't say it like her, I'm just saying the way I, I think I should be saying it. She said, put your lip in the bottom. Let me get them on chapter five first. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's go. Let's put your lip on. How you doing? How you do? How you doing? 
How you doing? So I'm like, what I want, what I want to go in there. So you know, so how you do? What I want, what I want. Probably trying to do like that. What I want, what I. I'm like that. Oh my God! Look at this boy Calvin Page. Oh my God! He used to love doing this. How go? He always does doing that. This is like why? This is like he's like two feet tall. Had like a little mustache going. It's great. If anybody know who a Calvin Page is, can you can tell me. I've been seeing his voice since years. And Ricky Muckles. Oh my gosh. It seems like a stalker, but it's not. It's like I really haven't seen this kid since elementary school. And it's kind of weird. But yes. So. Doodly do. Wally at ya. Yes. Pearly shop on my ocean. <laughs> what I do.